I have a YouTube channel that I'm starting to upload my music to, and it's called Rick Sinclair Returns. And uh, Rick Sinclair is my stage name that I used back in the 80s when I was in a new wave band. Um, it's not my birth name, but it's the name I perform under. Um, and I've decided to kind of bring that name back and put my music under that name. He's awesome. I love listening to his music. That's why I like to come around and listen. Purple Hand of Destiny. You left Seattle with your dog and your... Destiny is the name of this song that I wrote, and uh, I wrote it right as they were shutting down everything for the coronavirus. I packed up my dog, got in my van, and went camping, and when I was there, the park rangers came knocking on my van door and told me that the governor had shut down all the state parks. And uh, as I was sitting there, I just started writing this song about the adventure I was having, and I think in my mind, I knew the coronavirus was a thing, it was happening. I mean, right by my home is where we had the first death in Washington State, and I'm a teacher, so they shut us down right away. So I knew this was all coming, and I think I was trying to outrun it, but when I got there, I realized that you can't outrun a virus. And so I kind of wrote a song about the whole thing, and it's called Purple Handed Destiny, which didn't have any meaning at all. Um, it got the name simply because I was writing with a purple fountain pen, and the fountain pen broke and turned my hand purple. And so I called it Purple Handed Destiny, and I didn't know what it was about until I was done writing it. Yeah, that's it. So this is uh, pur Purple Handed Destiny, it goes.
Thank you. Really that, good. That's kind of how it goes with a couple mistakes in it. Thank you kindly. Wow. That's really neat. So, so what got you into writing songs? Oh, I've been writing music since I was a little kid. Yeah, I've played in various different bands. Most of the stuff that I've done has been original stuff. Um, during the pandemic, I just kind of hunkered down with my guitar and started taking some more guitar lessons, trying to improve my playing. Um, wrote a bunch of new songs, started learning other people's songs and just trying to keep myself productive during the whole thing. So, um, yeah, I've been writing music since my hair was brown. <laughs> That song is called Little Pictures, written by me, Rick Sinclair. This is a little original I wrote, it's called Forgotten Melody. was called Fool and it was written by my best friend and he gives me permission to, to perform it. He is no longer with us. Um, his name was Mark Thornburg and he wrote that song called Fool. Thank you. 
remember how to even do it. It's been so long since I've been out here. Well, it's great to have you out here. And yeah. thank you for being on my show. Absolutely happy to do it. And uh, the weather was wonderful, so I thought it'd be a perfect time to come back out here and see if I remember how to do this. My name is Rick Sinclair. grandparents came here from Ireland so my grandfather was an Irishman my dad was an Irishman and I'm an Irishman by default um, and uh, when my dad was ill um, and kind of on his way down um, I wrote him a song uh, kind of about the Irish heritage and the themes of many Irish families including our own um, and so this is a song that I wrote for my dad and it's called Blood and Water, and it's a very Irish themed song.
Where by the juice of the vine